Trying to get in my pants, but we even chill. Do you have enough money to buy me a meal? Do you have enough money to sign me a deal? Fucking with niggas don't make me more trail. Yeah, I did it alone. Yeah, I'm a big deal. Crying to me like I'm Dr. Phil. My rap goes a six. I need me a pill. All of these niggas be capping, but not about the action. They screaming what happened. Yeah. Pussy nigga try to act up. When I catch him out, he gets snatched up. Not talking money, get your cash up. Broke niggas can't even add up. I'm a thick nigga and I'm bad as fucking. My niggas ride like a black truck. Your shorty big like a fucking hawk. You bitches press like a fucking hawk. You niggas nasty, got some fucking hawks. My money long like a fucking sock. I'm blowing up, I'm about to pop My music hot like a fucking pop I'm the queen, what the fuck I thought? Keep listening to my album drop uh, Never been intimidated by a rap nigga All these other rappers will sound real bitter Had a little fruit, sugar, nuts, up a fritter I'm a gay nigga and my rap sound realer Some of y'all rap niggas about to be in trouble I'm coming for the throne, that's just being humble I spit straight bars and you niggas just mumble Gotta piece it together like a motherfucking puzzle Sounding like a dog with a motherfucking muzzle I'm the new card, hurry up and just shuffle Pull the ball down and I know I won't fumble Touchdown, I swear you niggas in trouble Now you rappers sound pussy, so y'all kitty saying hello me and Kitty saying hello. Brrr, Kitty saying hello. <laughs> Me and Kitty saying hello. Up. Damn, dog. <laughs> we heard you. You heard him, bitches? Niggas, I know you heard him. <laughs> Light him up, dog. I'm a cold ass bitch and my lyrics always icy. When I pull up, many niggas wanna fight me. Not my fault that she nigga wanna wipe me. I'm the queen of your town and I run it like Chris Brown. I'm getting all these bookers, I make you bitches frown. They see you doing good, now niggas wanna be down. Bitch, you ain't brandy, niggas can't even stand me. All this hard work, my name is really a brand B. Straight out the hood and I'm talking about the east side. Bitch, I'm from the keys and I rep 315. Got on my side, so I'm always on a good high. Making niggas shit, so now they running. I've been leading with the.
What up, everybody? It's your girl, Brandy Blaze. I still think you okay. If you can hear me, let me know in the comments. Can you hear us? We good? <laughs> but you're out in delay. If you guys can hear me, let me know in the chat. We live right now on Facebook and on YouTube. There we go. Okay. What's up, Maze Radio? Love you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be getting started soon. Um, right now, we're just playing a couple records for some of my favorite Boston artists. Um, not everybody's from Boston, but you know. We're just going to. Listen to a couple of my favorite records from artists that I know and I love that I've met out here. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we're going to have an amazing time. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the one year anniversary of Late Bloomer. I cannot believe that it's already been a year. Um, 2020 has been the shortest year, but also the long longest year of my entire fucking life. Um, I feel like this year has lasted 65 years. <laughs> 
but we're here. Um, DJ Washam's here too. What's up, Sham? Sure. <laughs> Sham's in a cut. Um, I just want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. Um, a year ago, I dropped Late Bloomer. Um, it's an album that means so much to me, just on a personal level. Um, I feel like people really got to know me as an artist and really got to see my growth and my progression from my first album into my second. Um, so first and foremost, I just want to thank everybody that was involved in Late Bloomer. I'll name all of y'all later at the end because <laughs> it's a lot of people that worked on this album. But what we're going to do tonight is we are going to... What am I gonna do? We're gonna play some of my favorite records from Late Bloomer. Um, and we're also gonna preview some demos from my third album, which comes out next year. Um, yes, we're already on album number three. Like, how did that happen? I feel like I just started rapping like yesterday. Now we're already like three albums in. Like, what? <laughs> And I can see all of your guys' comments. So if you guys have any questions about how we made Late Bloomer, any questions about the songs, please feel free to put it in the comments. I'm here to ask, answer all of your questions. I'm really sad, but also really happy because, you know, we were supposed to be doing this um, one year anniversary show as a live event um, out in Framingham. Um, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Excuse me. Um, because of COVID. COVID sucks. We all know that. But um, yeah, I was supposed to do a one year anniversary show, um, play the whole album with a band that had been my plan. But you know, best laid plans go to shit. I don't even think that's the same. I'm gonna say that's what it is. <laughs> so um, also before we get started, Tim, I love you. <laughs> How does it feel to be the baddest bitch? I mean, I feel like the baddest bitch on the planet is is Mama Blaze. So, you know, she she still has the throne and the title. I'm I'm, I'm still Baby Blaze, <laughs> but I love you, Tim. Um, just before we get started into the first record, um, I just also want to give a really big thank you to Worcester Magazine. Um, if you guys haven't seen the article, they included Late Bloomer in the best albums of 2020. Um, Late Bloomer was also included in some best of lists from 2019. So I truly am in awe and internally grateful that this album could be on best of lists for two separate years. Um, since it did technically come out in 2019. Um, so thank you again to Worcester Magazine, to Victor. Thank you to Christine. Um, I just want her to follow me around and take pictures of me forever because like, if you haven't seen the article, go see the articles. My titties was sitting, okay? Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get into the album. Um, the first song on Late Bloomer is Only One Me. Um, this is a record that was really, really special to me. I think I started performing Only One Me like over a year before Late Bloomer came out. So by the time we had the release show, pretty much everyone knew the words, but not just knew the words, everyone knows Sham's ad-libs. And I think that was really the beginning of people seeing the chemistry and the teamwork between me and Sham. Um, Cause those were the first ad-libs of hers that they learned. So, um, the title tracks, the introduction tracks are always really important for me. Um, the intro song on Spinster is Scandal, um, which was like a really hard record. Um, and Scandal ended up getting me like a lot of attention. So by the time it came to Late Bloomer, um, there really was only one option for an intro song and that was Only One Me. So we're gonna play Only One Me and then we're going to play the intro song for my third album so we can see how they stack up let's go <laughs> Crying, begging, screaming out for help. You want to murder me? Only looking out for self. So I'm fighting so I can't, strong. I they can't do nothing now. Now I'm little, get on top. Why they got the right to count? Well, damn, it's a swim. Homie felt so no stuff when they come up, but I still feel the wealth. Still the pride. Now wake up. 
so right. Filling all the pumps and then tighten up my shoe like a bum. Hey, what's up, but y'all stop now? Like you felt. Help me down, take it, get up. Now I'm a highway gun, like a bum. Yo, yo, stopping out there in my high heels. Yo, yo, yo. When you see that wild black steak, no, that's the kiss of death. You already dead inside. No, Smith and West said that. songs to perform just like the energy and i get to live out my rock star fantasy and shake my hair real quick so that's only one me that is the intro to um late bloomer um i definitely was always obsessed with like dreams and nightmares and i was like i have to i can't top that but i always wanted like some type of record that's like yo sets the album off like in a crazy, crazy way, like energy wise, like you already know what you're about to get. So one of the previews that you guys are going to get for my third album, this is the intro song to my third album. I can't tell you guys what the title is yet. You will not find out the title till I officially announce it, but this is one, two, three. It's produced by Peter Perfect and shout out to the Beat Club podcast because that's how I got connected with Peter Perfect. I heard one of his beats when I was a guest and I became absolutely obsessed with him and he's produced two records on this new album so this is the intro to my third album one two three sorry we're in the hood y'all y'all gonna hear a little, little you gonna hear background we in the hood y'all know we in there <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. They really want to be Brandy. One, two, three. I'm going to have to take these hoes. One, two, three. Really clucking up these foes. One, two. Had to run it back. Run that back. Hey. Shout out to being perfect. One, two, three. They really want to be Brandy. One, two, three. I'm going to have to take these hoes. One, two, three. Really clucking up these foes. One, two, three. Uh. Yeah, one, two, three, uh, yeah, one, two, three. They really wanna be friendly, one, two, three. Oh my, the teach these hoes, one, two, three, uh. It's pretty ladies on this shit, yeah. Kick back in the birds while the rubbing on my clip, yeah. Ask my real bitches, then I'm with that shit. High heels, red lipstick, yeah, I've been that bitch, uh. Fucking on your nigga and he come quick, uh. Cut the pussy, grab him up tight, yeah, when I sit. Spitting it on the tip, yeah, slip, uh. Nigga wanna give me a bunch of seats, man. These lame ass male rappers really never sit. Thinking that they got the game in the choke deck. Ho ass nigga, 
I'm just a matriarch. Yeah. These new bitches won't cause brandy plays yeah. won't. Yeah. Try to peep my phone so my fresh doesn't stop. Posted in Ella Lily, they mad at pop. Crying like what you're me. Bitch, stop. Three albums in, that's why I'm on the top. Bro. One, two, three. They really wanna be brandy. One, two, three. I'ma have to teach these hoes. One, two, three. Really clucking up these hoes. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. One, two, three. They really wanna be brandy. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to teach you hoes one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, big titties hooked on the park. Big bitch running shit so you know they talk. Oh, I'm gonna put my boots red seat because I'm the last party. Big leader of my own army, this is far. These bitch podcasters asking if I really right. They went and asked that shit if I was spinning on their mic. Huh. Yeah, that's a double line time train. Won't stop till they say I'm the new Andre. I boost, boost, hoes, but I'm the whole Andre. Blaze came and just to meet the city with the blood shit. I'm a new and living lux. So my mom like, huh? Yeah, with the feeder. But that's still time to plug. Yeah, you know the scene. Left now, high me now. I'm a fucking cheater. Only spit on that grimy shit. Word of Peter. Left fur for the winter. Word of Peter. Trying to find a real pretty way. Left of Peter. Blow a couple racks in his damn little speaker. Tell these other niggas it's a rap. Peter. These punk niggas kiss him. See them. Huh? One, two, three. They really want to be Brandy. One, two, three. I'ma have to teach these hoes one, two, three. Really clucking up these hoes one, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. They really wanna be ready. One, two, three. I'ma have to teach these hoes one, two, three. Oh, at the first that was low as high pitch. That's when I'm gonna switch. The brand new is pretty, please put them in the ditch. Hi, bitch, a real pretty lady, you know that bitch. Real nigga, son of a three dollar brick. This is real time, huh? No punch. Fake niggas, meal time, looking like lunch. Stepping on these niggas next to me, the track from the crunch, huh? Shout out to Peter Perfect. Damn. That shit goes so hard, I do fuck. <laughs> Y'all, let me know how y'all feeling in the comments. Is the dub is a hit? What y'all thinking? Um, thank you guys so much, everyone. That's oh my God, this is so <laughs> <laughs> thank you so so much again for everybody tuning in. Um, you just heard one, two, three of my third album coming out next year. Um, I know we had a couple questions. Oh, this is a good one. What's up, babe? Aw, Tara, I love you, baby. Um, how has your creative process changed between all your albums? Um, I think that I've just become more open to um, collaboration. I think that's really the biggest thing that has come out of my growth and also just really developing my voice and not being afraid to like be vulnerable and like expose my pain and how I feel. But I think really the collaboration and being really open to it is the biggest difference. Um, my first album is No Features at all. Um, my second album, um, I was really blessed to have open red shades on there. And this album, I can't tell you everyone that's on here, but this is the most collaborations I've ever done. And I think it makes this project even stronger and better. Um, and you'll hear one of the collaborative tracks I'm about the rash. in a little while. I'm about the rash from the side. Y'all see Brandy on live. Stop hitting her for goddamn phone. <laughs> I know. My phone's going crazy. I'm like, I'm on hop live. Hop on the live. Hop on the live. Damn it. I know. If you want to talk to me, hop on the live. Because my phone is really going off with the trap. So y'all need to stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yo, shout out to Tim, too, yo. Tim is a real ass one. Make sure you go, y'all go check him out. Support him. Because um, he's a real ass dude. He's always showing me nothing but love. And I really love and adore him. So shout out to Tim. Um... Yes. So, what do we have next? That's I'm like, I have a list. <laughs> okay, so I know I came up with this list, and I was like, you know, it was really hard to pick songs that I wanted to pick because I was like, we're not gonna play the whole album because I want to give you guys some new shit too. But you know, this has been hard picking the songs. It's been really hard. Um. So next we have, <laughs> yo, I I feel like I always say. Every song is my favorite song, but this one in particular, I also started performing a while before 
late bloomer was even a thought. Um, one thing that's really interesting about late bloomer is that late bloomer was supposed to come out 18 months prior um, because my third, my first album came out in 2016. Um, Late Bloomer was supposed to come out in June of 2018. It had a completely different title. Um, it had different records on it. Um, but Only One Me and Heartbreaker are basically the only two songs that made it from the original I concept that I had. I completely scrapped it and started over and it became Late Bloomer. Um, so when I started to perform Heartbreaker, I think it was about two years before Late Bloomer came out, and there was no third verse. So I never wanted it to be that way. I had never intended it to only be two verses. It was always supposed to be three. So um, I was blessed that I got my sister Red Shades to hop on it. She absolutely demolished me. You know, I could say that with pride. Like, I'm not one of them, like, sick niggas. I'd be like, oh, my God, you killed me on my own record. I got to bury the record. To me, that just made it even more fire. But she absolutely demolished me. I don't even care. The record came out fire. So this is Heartbreaker. <laughs> Shout out to Dab. Shout out to Amanda Shay. Used to be a good girl. Now I'm a mean bitch. When I come through, break that dick off real quick. When I'm done calling to me, yo, we so sick. Wearing in this picture on my wrist. Damn. I'm a purple streams like a sis. Easy slam dunk, no assist. When I ride it, cause it's not my legs. She said I could tell you had no kids. Dummy. Not trying to say that I'm on the mic. But I keep three on me like a traffic light. When I get it, then I own it. Copyright. Never let it drip out. Word the type. So I'ma get that nigga what they want. I'ma get that nigga what they want. At the like you want, kick it. Hunt. Fuck them, then I write them off. For I be freaking be freaking hot, nigga. What you got? I will never let no die. I be freaking hot. I be freaking hot, nigga. What you got? I will never let no die. Get it right, nigga. This is missing trick. I love why when he texts, he missing me. Never hit that nigga back, cause you know he is Steve. He's slinging a dick like he got kids to feed. <laughs> Damn, that nigga played out great. Great. Think you can step to me, please. please. If you bad enough, that nigga proceed. When I'm tired, bro, over on a cold tea. Please don't act like it's bigger than it is. Straight up, pass on the dick pop quiz. Yeah, and you get the free bitch, no kiss. This mess X him up, I like black list. I will never ever love a nigga. No. I will never ever love a nigga. No. Rest in peace, great digger. That'll be the dick I put a trigger. I be freaking hot. I be freaking hot. Nigga, what you got? I will never let no die. I be freaking hot. I be freaking hot. Nigga, what you got? I won't never let no die. LOL, when he texts, he missing me. 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 Why you always call my phone? You know I press the climb. Why you writing all my pictures with the kisses like you mine? We ain't even do that much. I hit it just a couple times. Any other moment, you be calling all these bitty slimes. But he got you tripping. Guess I'm so different from other women. Kitty got you spinning. Now you depending. But I'm a minute. Tell me that you miss it. I let you grip it. And then I'm dipping. Call it condescending. But all you getting is what I mentioned. Uh, devilish. My heart is something you'll never get. My game's so weaponless. They be coming back for the rest of it. I'm not a pessimist. But you'll never pass all the tests you'll get. And I ain't settling. But I treat you nice like a gentleman. I'm no psycho messing with you. Can't be the first or you second to see that you're better than all my options and you're ahead of them. But you're mistaken. I hate to break it to you. They begging it. And I be checking them and I don't be calling and texting them. The single me and the take of me are two different people. One is loyal, you, one will annoy you. Trust me, see, we ain't go out to show you I ain't good for you. And frankly, I will leave you. I'm a loving person. You want that. Don't let the smile deceive you. That's all this mean that I'm not a G. I'm a heartbreaker. Well, wait a moment. I'm busy. Peace and we talk later. It's fresh shades and brandy blazer. Fly favor. Get many plays. We're hit for day. 
days we not hate it. I beat freaking hearts. I beat freaking hearts. Oh my God. We got to bring PSA. <laughs> oh my God. PSA. Dang, nigga. You're a bitch. <laughs> Yo, we couldn't have this without you because you really did make the album. Like, it's just that little, you're like more than the cherry on the album. I don't even know how to describe it. I just talk <laughs> shit good. Yeah. <laughs> I talk shit, bro. So, we, um, say is, that's my brother, first off. First of all. Right, Nikki. That is my I brother. Shit. I talk shit to my sister. I headbutt people. I got little heads and shit hurts when I headbutt people. <laughs> So um, we decided to we shot a short film to go along with Late Bloomer. Shout out to our other brother Scott Sandinata, Sando Films. Like that's our other brother as well. And I just had like this idea of like, okay, I really want to shoot a short film to go along with Late Bloomer. Um, so I asked PSA. I was like, okay, listen. Uh oh, what happened? You disappeared. Your whole shit just died. This is your show. And I was like, my show, because your shit just blinked out, so now I feel like I gotta host this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we back, we back. I had to get ready. I was like, oh shit, I gotta host some shit. Like, I, 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 I was talking about how I was talking on real quick. <laughs> I was like, Nick said, hey, just say, just come in and say a couple words. They did not say PSA, I need you to host. It's like, hold on, nigga. <laughs> You don't want to play, so yeah, so okay, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about the the film and the interludes that we did? Yeah, you know it was kind of it was crazy. It was literally on on spot shit. My bad, I got mad wires and shit. <laughs> yeah, it was working and shit. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, now we did. It was literally like on the spot, real in and out, just kind of being uh, me. And Brandy being B, and just you know, just being goofy as fuck. That's how we roll, bro. Right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody takes shit too serious. So, you yeah. Know, take some time to be not serious with certain shit, and then you know, get back to the funny money. Exactly that. Like, also shout out again to our brother Sandal Films. That's my guy. So, because he did a beautiful job shooting the film, and like I said, there was no script. And when I mean, it was like I, a partial script, but it was like it, got it was literally like, like, okay, this is how you feel, and <laughs> and that was literally all I gave him. I said, okay, this is the scenario. You heard the first album, and you're highly upset because you're like, all of these songs are about you and the crazy. They were. Too. They were. <laughs> So the crazy part was that I actually based the interludes in the short film on a voicemail I had gotten from this guy. And he had heard one of my songs. Um, it was a dude I used to mess with. And he heard one of the songs and he was pissed because he was thoroughly convinced that um, one of the songs was about him, but it actually was not. So because he was so mad at me, I wrote real deep about him. Cause I was like, okay, if you really want a shitty song about you, I will give you a shitty song about you. Like, what? But <laughs> so I was like, you know, at first I was gonna use the real voicemail because it was like insane, and yeah. so we were like, we don't want the guy to try to sue me, so we're like, okay, nah, we should have used it. Nah, but you were so much better because you have never heard the voicemail, but I feel like you totally captured how insane he was without oh, even ever hearing it. Oh, like shit. that's the crazy part. So, <laughs> and then I was like, "Yeah, I just want you to like sing on this record." The Boys to Men wasn't even the first song; it was a different song. And then you guys were like, "No, it should be End of the Road." <laughs> it should be End of the Road. I told you, this, yo, you can't never not do End of the Road. You gotta do End of the Road. That's like every that's every sad niggas go to song. Why don't we go? <laughs> To the end, bro. Yo, the and, to the middle, to the end. And I think that's the hardest part about shooting with you is that I'm only in the end of the film. So the first two parts of the film are just PSA. I'm not even in them. And the hardest part was obviously I was on set for all of it, but I'm in the background and I was trying so hard not to laugh 
because he was just going off the top. He was just saying like the craziest shit that he could possibly think of. And I was just in the background like going crazy. Like, yo, I'm so hard not to laugh. Like there was probably like, we probably could have made like a 30 minute film based on everything that PSA just like ad-libbed. So by the time we got to the part where I opened the door, I was just like already done. I was already done. So that you attitude, stand up. just like, please get out of here was really genuine. Cause I was like, if you don't move, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to ruin the shot. And I feel like PSA was definitely trying to make me laugh. I tried. It didn't work, <laughs> she stayed mad professional. I tried yeah. to make jokes. So I naturally ended the scene when he started singing about me and you could get it over a plate of chicken. Like I naturally ended the scene because I had to close the door at that point. Cause I was like, I'm done. We're done here. We're done here. <laughs> oh yeah, you got it done. Knocked it out in a couple hours. Perry. Yeah, no, it was, it was a crazy fast shoot. And then um um PSA came into the studio, and I was like, okay, well we're gonna replicate um these what was in the film like in the studio as if it's like a continuation of the film. Um, and then we even had the um the real heavy. Um, scene, um, which is the karma interlude, and I knew that he could, I, PSA already knew that you could do that because you're just like an incredible actor. I've already seen you active videos before, so I was like, yeah. There's only, shit. there's only one person that could do this and bring like the comedy that I needed, which is what I wanted, but then also bring like that seriousness too. <laughs> I see mom was in here. Hey mom. I miss your mom. I see mom in here. Mom was in here. Hey mom. Yes. Mama <laughs> Blaze. But PSA, I just want to tell you how much I absolutely love and adore you. And like I said, the album would not be what it was without you um, blessing the interviews. Like you really like told the whole story of the album, so people were able to follow it. And like you were just incredible. Listen, we, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like like I told you that day. It's funny because like we met about five, about damn, it's about five years now. Damn, yeah, it's, it's like five or more years actually. And then when we met, bro, you was in your situation. And he was like, yo, I don't know how I feel about this situation. I was like, yo, let me tell you like this, right? Can nobody disrespect you without catching the hands, whatever be the case. So if you got to walk on, walk on, do what you got to do, but I'm still rock with you. And then Sandal was like, yo, and I was like, yo, let me tell you the same thing I just told Brandon Blaze, bro. Y'all got to be about yourself. I'm me, be you all day today. You die out this place. What'd you say? Gang, gang. Sandal coming in all cool. Oh What's <laughs> up, <laughs> y'all? Hi, Sandal. I love you. What's up, B? What's up, PSA? What's going on, guy? I oh, to, I'm, a little, I'm a, a little bit late to the show, y'all, but I'm here. Listen, I'm late to the show and still working. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's I ain't crazy. gonna, I ain't a webcam, so I can't work. Up. I had to go right to the phone. How y'all oh, doing? Good, good, you know. Fernando, like you're just, you're just my brother. You already know we've been riding together for so long. Yeah, I gotta say, I had such fun with you guys when we filmed those little interludes. PSA is one of the most professional, like ad lib, ad ad lib as I know. Did it all one take, banged it out. Him and Brandy just played off each other just perfectly uh, for that little scene at the end. You guys were just the best. I mean, every time I watch it, I laugh. Bro, and, the people uh, that were in the parking lot, though, was funny as hell because they did not know what was going on. They was exactly. Like, it was, they were just like, uh, they thought it was the episode of Cops and shit. They was like, is this Cops? I think this is Cops. <laughs> I think that got I know. We're like in the parking, the parking lot, lot of CVS on Morrison Boulevard. Like, oh, yeah. totally That's right. So you know they was already asking questions over there, like uh, I don't know what's like, going on. They're like, there's two black people and a tall white man. Like and the tall white dude, which one? Who's selling what to who? <laughs> I was the seller. Who's selling what to who? I was like, I'm using. I'm over here using. Give me my cup. Like, I'm out here. Yo, I, I just really want to thank both of you guys for not. Not just the work that you did on Lake Bloomer, which was incredible and like really instrumental to the album, but just all the love and support that you guys have had from me since the day that I met both of you. Like you guys have been really instrumental to my career and like the progress that I've gone through. So, you know, I just love the both of you to death and I cannot wait to do more work with you guys. Like we have a lot more things to do together. 
and I just love you both. Well, feel, love feel, you too, feelings know. mutual. You know, in this bitch for whatever comes down, you know what I'm saying? Anybody got a problem, holla at me. Because don't be talking shit about Brandy Blaze or Sandal Films or Wash Him. Because I will elbow you and I got skinny elbows. So I'm almost like getting hit with a sword because my elbow's not as skinny as you one time. And the elbow face be a life So up. yeah, just imagine this for like 30 minutes straight. And you can't laugh because you'll fuck up the shot. Just imagine like what I would say. <laughs> that, that, that's Sandal, how we Sandal, like. We can't even, me and Sandal couldn't even look at each other because we would just laugh. So it's just like, imagine having to get through that. It was crazy. Laugh. It was crazy <laughs> fun. That day, it, was, it was crazy fun. And yeah, then, so like, can, everybody can hear me type and they think it's me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even doing it. <laughs> Yo, I love Tim. <laughs> yeah, who's your type? <laughs> God damn. Yo, it was funny <laughs> though. Like, oh, no. It was funny <laughs> that I being on my street, the side street, because those people were looking at us like, uh, I don't know if that's really going down or what, but he's banging on the windows. What's going on here? Oh <laughs> my god. So yeah, so we were at my best friend's mom's house shooting. Bro. And he had to like literally like pull the car up on the sidewalk and pop up the car and like run up to the house. We're like, you know. Lord. Like a real cycle. Like, okay, we're, we're doing this fine. There's a camera here. There's nothing happening. We promise. It's like, here's a tall black guy. He's just like, whoop, right up on the curb. And like, drives up on the curb. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, I was really mad about it. And then hot dog. It's funny, I'm out there driving like Yo, I love you guys so much. Like I said, thank you again for all that you guys have done for me career-wise. Like I'm eternally, eternally grateful for you forever. Um you more, and Santa, y'all are both my mothers for life. And like I said, we're gonna do a lot more work together. Y'all Abs are absolutely we're already, we're already work tomorrow. working on a secret project. Right, exactly. So <laughs> 2021, right? I love right. you guys. Let's say 2021 and a half, because we don't, you know what I'm saying? It's the way shit Listen, don't put that in the universe. <laughs> 2020 is yeah, kind of like right. my bank account. I don't even know how the shit was set up, but it's all messed up. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I think this is the part where we ended. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Okay. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sham. Yo, I just want to say that it's sham running the stream and not me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm here with a drink, chilling. Um, thank you guys again for how. Yo, y'all really made my night. Like, I didn't know that they were coming on, so that was like my real ass reaction to seeing both their faces. Like, I didn't had no idea they were coming on. Thank you guys so much. You're my brothers. I love y'all. Yo. Y'all gonna think we really love. Nah, we was joking. <laughs> All right. So um next we have um Brandy Brandy. Um shout out to Soul for producing this. Um Brandy Brandy was one of the last songs that got done. And Soul is just like such a beautiful person. He said, I made this beat um exclusively for you. And when I heard it. Um, I knew that he definitely absolutely had made that beat just for me. Um, and I think that this was really like the start of me being like way more vulnerable. Um, I feel like I got pigeonholed for a while after Spinster um, and before I dropped Late Bloomer. Just if you see me live, you know, I like to do pussy popping music. Like that's what I do. That's what I'm good at. Um, but I feel like I have really gotten pigeonholed into doing that type of music. Um, and I really wanted to be able to show the type of artist that I am and the type of music that I can write. So, also shout out to my baby Jabs. Um, if you go on his Instagram, on my Instagram, he did an incredible um, dance video to the song, which I love to this day. Um, he did a beautiful job. Um, yes, thank you Amanda Shea with the tag, right on time. Thank you, Bev. Um, 
And also, if you guys have not seen the triad with me, Keolani, and Anjimile on um, the Oberon American Repertory Theaters website, please make sure y'all go stream that because the video that they did for Brandy Brandy is absolutely insane. So you definitely want to see that show. And yeah, this is Brandy Brandy. The one of the first songs I think I said explicitly said "suck my dick." <laughs> Wait, have I said that on a song before this? I don't know. Am I the baddest? Yeah. No one cares that I'm the saddest. Yeah. They love Blaze because he is savage. Yeah. Fly bitch, nothing like average. Off stage is brandy with the baggage. Never measure up. I can only see what I'm slacking. Slow with the pen, steady lagging. Pretend to be royalty, a landing. A landing. It's a cavity on my back like a mattress. Playing out a character actress. Moon and cancer. I could be a soft ass bitch. Yeah. Cut of a heart need more than a stitch. Yeah. Niggas see the move, so that's when they switch. Now they wanna be on my ass. Edge. I don't even think I could trust. Try a nigga like I woke him bust. That's when I come out like please suck my dick. Run down a nigga, you know that's my trick. Niggas try to get close, shit make me sick. Oh, uh, I can never be a weak bitch. Oh, uh, locked down this game preset. Oh, uh, baddest bitch out priceless. Oh, uh, all this pain made me like this. Oh, uh, niggas only love me when I am more. These niggas only love me when I am more. These niggas only love me when I am more. These niggas only love me when I am out. Niggas only love me when I am more. These niggas only love me when I am more. These niggas only love me when I am more. When are you born? I am the I am the, I am the baddest. Yeah. No one cares that I'm the saddest. Yeah. Get on stage on the medic. Yeah. All stage shit is all tragic. Transform snap and it's magic. magic. Hit the bottom three times hat trick. Never know when I feel the lowest. lowest. Need someone to save me lowest. lowest. Take on my strength to keep going. Don't know how to do anything else. Keep flowing. Two sides of me I cannot contain. Feeling like I'm crazy. Try to maintain. Sanity gone. Runaway train. Need to escape like I was on Kane. Niggas don't care about my pain. They just want place. That's why they came. <laughs> that's when I come out like please suck my dick. Run down a nigga, you know that's my trick. Niggas try to get close, shit make me sick. Oh, uh, I can never be a weak bitch. Oh, uh, lock down this game preset. Oh, uh, baddest bitch out priceless. Oh, uh, all this pain made me like this. Oh, uh, niggas only love me when I get more. These niggas only love me when I get more. These niggas only love me when I get more. These niggas only love me when I get out. Niggas only love me when I get more. These niggas only love me when I get more. These niggas only when I am the baddest, yeah. No one cares that I'm the saddest, yeah. yeah. Yo, I just really thought to myself, why do I have so many records where I'm counting? Like, I feel like the count from Sesame Street. Like, is that just like my thing now? Or I just count on records? You know, something to ponder. Anyway, <laughs> Sham is like, if you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> You know what, Tim? You already know what beat I want to be on. So don't do that. I'm going to call you out right on the stream. You already know what beat I want to be on. You ain't never sent it to me, but I love you. So you better send me some fire ass shit when you send me some shit. All right? Love you. <laughs> Thank you guys again for tuning in. I love you guys so much. This is amazing. Um, so we'll go into the next record, um, which is... If you were at my release party, um, I didn't even get through the record almost. I almost got through it, um, but it, it was really tough for me. And um, it, it was really hard. And I, um, I never thought that I would put that record out. I think um, when I recorded it, I felt like it was so off brand for me that I, I almost didn't feel comfortable 
putting it out, but then I played it for Sham and I played it for Amanda Shea and their reaction to it was like so intense that I knew I had to put the song out. Um, the problem was that I could not get through the song without crying. <laughs> so that was the struggle. Um, I think the good part is that I'm in a place now where I can, um, but um, if you watch the triad show, I do fraud um, during the triad show as well. And it's just shot really beautifully. Um, and I think, you know, do fucked up things can come art. And that's really what I tried to do with this record. So um, thank you to everyone also that sent me messages about fraud and how it impacted their lives. Like all of those messages really mean a lot to me and makes me feel like I definitely made the right decision by putting out the record, even though I really didn't want to. So <laughs> I think I did the right thing. So this is fraud. <laughs> Or it will be fraud. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fraud. People be like, Brandy, please, you're so strong and you're so brave and I don't really be feeling that way. I be out here feeling fucked up. Like, I just be out here feeling fraudulent as fuck. Like, I got this whole ass image and that's not really how I be feeling. I just be feeling so fucked up. Oh, oh, oh. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Ain't nobody tell me life was gonna be this fucking hard. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Ain't nobody tell me life was gonna be this fucking hard. I'm so sick of being fucking strong. Gaslighted, being told I'm wrong. I've been listening to JC too long. Cause I can only make the song cry. Only cry when I sleep, laugh when I can't hide. I know I'm toxic, I'm cyanide. Screaming, I just wanna get by. Nigga broke my wings, so I can't fucking fly. And these people be like tight. But my life, I'm out and dead, they can't fucking cry. Don't know what they've done to survive. Leaving all this old shit behind. I've never been good that goodbye. I lie and I say that I'm fine. Never be weak, I'm always in drive. Even when I should park. I know dreaming color shit always been dark. These niggas put they dick in me, not give a fuck about me when I cry excuses that they hide behind. I can't even fucking lie. I just want someone to love me. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Ain't nobody tell me life was gonna be this fucking hard. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Calling up for God, feeling like a fraud. Ain't nobody tell me life was gonna be this fucking hard. This pain that I'm in, I cannot deny. Sometimes I wish I would fucking die. So I don't have to feel no more. But that shit be irking me like a canker sore. And I could not take anymore. Fuck what the future got in store. If I can't be happy, what the fuck am I here for? That shit he did broke me to my core. He feel bad for what he did. What if somebody did that to your kid, nigga? Well, I'm somebody's kid, nigga. What if somebody held it down to write them? You be ready, send a bitch, nigga, to his maker. I ain't tell nobody what you did. But it's me, though, so it's all cool, though. I feel like a coward because I kept it on the low. I care more about my career than fucking exposing you. Lost my soul and spirit, can't lose my music, too. So I just let it go, and I just let it be. Drink it so heavy till I can't fucking see. Feeling like I can never be what I wanna be. Yeah. Yo, the growth, yo. The growth. I feel like I've grown so much since I recorded that song that now I can sit here and vibe with y'all and not cry. Like, you know, healing is what it is, right? Art is healing. Thank you guys so much. I still feel like 
that is the greatest record that I've ever written and that I don't think I'll ever write another record as good as that one. Um, I mean, I will try. <laughs> I'll try, but that's definitely the best record I've ever written in my entire life. Medino, I love you, baby. Listen, the only way there will ever be a part two to that fucking record is if you're on it. Just saying. So there's that. Listen, Medino, we could do six records if you want, because I was just listening to Green Season 2 in the car on the way here. So we could do seven, eight, nine records if you want, because I love you that much. All right. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you. Shout out to Jay Hunt. Shout out to my bestie Tiara. I love you, baby. Um, Tiara, like, yo, that's that's one of my best friends in the entire world. And um, I love her so much. And she was really there for a lot of this shit that I went through that I wrote on the record. She was there to hold me and hug me when I cry. Um, same thing with Mama Blaze, like just held me down. Amanda Shea held me down. Um, in the background where I felt like I was falling apart, but I still had to come to work and, you know, do these shows and get this album out, shoot these videos. And I had to do all these things and I felt like I was falling apart. So, you know, thank you to everyone. I see so many people I love on here. Shout out to Oompa, someone else that held me together in the background while I was just like, literally like y'all do not know. Um, the lead up to Late Bloomer was so crazy because when I announced Late Bloomer, um, Late Bloomer was 60% done, <laughs> which is insane. So my team was ready to kill me. They were ready to kill me because we announced the album and it was 60% done. I still had to write a couple records. I still had to record a bunch of records. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to tell people what's coming. I already booked the venue. This is the date. This is what it is. We did the, we literally did the album cover shoot before the album was done. And yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know, I'm a Virgo. I work good under pressure. What can I say? Because, woo, yeah. Speaking of the next album, Mr. Medino Green, we're gonna play another record from the album. Um, This one is called The Vent. You might have seen a clip for it on my IG. Um, This record, um, produced by Hum Beats. So shout out to Hum Beats. He has an amazing album coming out. Oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> gonna We're gonna pick a pause. Pick a pause. Oh my God. We're gonna play another record from the album. I would um, say this one is called- Your audio off on the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. What's going on, B, how you doing? Shell is like surprising me with like everybody. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, bro. How are you? I'm cool and cool. You're doing your thing. Keep going. Keep going. Yo, thank you. You know, I love you. I love TR to death. Like, yo, y'all, y'all, my friends, y'all knew me before Brady Blaze was even a thing. Exactly. So, like, so to see you from, to watch you grow as an artist is, you know, so inspiring. Yo, thank yeah, you so man. much. Like Leonard produced songs on my first and my second album. I'm I'm on his back right now. So I'm gonna keep <laughs> that. But uh, <laughs> listen, you know, you know what I've been going through. I've been busy, but I'm I'm yeah, ready now. You know, you're, making, you're making grown man moves out here. I, I respect it. <laughs> yeah. So oh my god, yo, so Leonard produced real deep for me. And um the story for real deep was like, okay, so this is how annoying I am. <laughs> I, <laughs> because I feel like for, behind the scenes, people don't know how actually annoying I am to people. Mm -hmm. That is for me. Like, I'm surprised anybody still produces for me to this day because I'm that annoying. So I hit Leonard and I'm like, yo, LT, I want to sample this confunction song, right? But I didn't just want to sample this Confunction song. I sent him a Jay Versace video. And I was like, watch the first 15 seconds of this Jay Versace video because he had sampled um, the same Confunction song. And I was like, you know, we're not going to do exactly this, but I just want you to watch this 15 seconds of video, which is like so random and fucking annoying that... <laughs> And he was like, okay, say less. And then I ended up with Real Deep. Um, 
which is one of my favorite records I've ever done. Um, and, you know, shout out to Confunction. We haven't gotten sued yet, so yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, under 10 seconds. <laughs> right. like, you ain't find us yet. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I was definitely annoying. But I think like that just goes to show what an incredible producer he was because he, from that 15 seconds, he understood the vibe that I wanted. And then you just kind of like took that and like put it on steroids, like on a hundred. And then you just did it after, from that. Like that is so crazy. We're going to have to play real deep at some point. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to swap us. Definitely. <laughs> <I> got you. <laughs> put me on the spot. I was like, oh, wait. No, but I love you so much, bro. And like I said, Real Deep was really like a cornerstone of the album, I think, for me. And definitely some a song that people request a lot. Mm -hmm. And you just like murdered it. And you also did, Leonard um, also did the interlude on my first album, which was me just like talking crazy shit for like <laughs> that hard. It, it barely had a hook. <laughs> it, did it. it was just, it was just straight Shots at whoever this person no, was. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna go there, but yeah. <laughs> but you know, and like you know, I'm, I'm not gonna put my business out there, but just like the connection between me and LT and the fact that he would produce that song, it makes it even funnier. But I can't, like, I'm not gonna put my business out there. Like <laughs> but the fact that he was willing to produce that song is even funnier because yeah. like, most people would have said no. <laughs> when we're not gonna get in that, I I ain't had that much to drink. <laughs> Telling my own business. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't go there yet. Yo, nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. <laughs> I keep my shit. You, on you drink? You drinking white or brown? You drinking the white? Brown. Oh no! I'm telling you. You know it's that brown. white thing? No, you know brown. I cry or fight. That's it. There's literally no. <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting. Or I'm crying while I'm fighting. So uh -huh. I, I stay away from the brown. Except for you know sometimes when I go out with you and. Tiara, will, I'll be like, let me get a George Washington for old time's sake. But other than that, <laughs> I can't do no more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, That's what's up, yo, then. I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming on with us. No worries, no worries, definitely. Yo, you know I support when I can, but you know, if I'm not there physically, I'm there mentally all the time. You know that. Absolutely, and I feel like that, mm -hmm. like just having you and Tiara, like just like as a part of my career and like being able to work with you musically, but then also, you know, have the friendship that we have to me just makes it that much more special. And mm -hmm. I think the record's even better because we have, you know, you my nigga on top of this. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you don't know, like, you don't know I'm like the, what, what you would call it. Uh, you can't bring no men around me. Just let people know. I, I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I was like, Sham was like, okay, time to remove him. That's so I was like, listen, I could be looking for a date on here. <laughs> Sham, you already him. know. I'd be like, who's that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's all love. You know, no, it's all I love. Know. Like, listen, everyone, I tell anybody that I date, like, honestly, <laughs> you can't meet my friends or family. And it's, I, it's not me being a bitch. It's me protecting you. Because... <laughs> I'm not going to open you up to the firing range. That is my <laughs> family unless I'm about to marry you. So mm. when we're about to get married, it is too late. Then I'll like set you up. But I feel like if we just dating, it's, it's, it's a setup for you because all of y'all think nobody's good enough for me. <laughs> so like... No. Well, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah that's what Sometimes. I mean. Don't tell that lie. Don't tell that lie. <laughs> All right, thank you but, so yeah. much for coming on, bro. I love you. Yeah, love you. Oh my god, this is Sham. Sham is like really surprising me with people. I cannot like. I'm so happy. Like this big ass smile on my face. Like my face is hurting from smiling because I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. Um, we definitely are going to play real deep at some point. We'll get to it. But for right now, we're going to play one more new record. This is going to be on, I've been calling it B3 because I think I'm Beyonce. But um, <laughs> we're calling it B3 because you guys can't know the title until I officially announce it next year. So um, this is another song, much like the song that um, LT produced for me on my first album where I just talk shit for like bars. 
this is that. I had a lot of shit to get off my chest. And this is the vent. Oh, well. Oh. Uh. Uh. It's too early. <laughs> oh, we're playing model. LT produced model. I just sing for the head. I just sing for the head. I just sing for the head. Yeah, yeah. Sound effects like DJ White Man. I just sing for the head. I just sing for the head. Yeah, yeah. My little B63. Now these niggas touching me. Now I'm trying to scope stuff on IG. Black quick, he's sick, Ivy. Big D, poison, Ivy. Niggas don't even watch my bag. Cause they wanna see me fuck it up. Big old ass, watch me fuck it up. Uh, got the anime titties. Yeah, they know what's up. Yeah, I've never been a type to cup. Hop my hand like a winter muff. This pussy is feeding niggas buzz. Buzz. Let this sound fucking fuzz. Yeah. Now niggas bragging on what it was. Yeah. I will never wear a muscle. Try to figure me out. Puzzle. Turn on that nigga. Guzzle. Niggas wanna be in my circle. Huddle. Step on these niggas. Puddle. Crush these niggas. Pesto muddle. My money pinned up. I watched them struggle. Niggas wanna hate on my press. Is that why they really press? Hating on me. They got deserve less. Bitch niggas can never fit my dress. Or for my address, why don't a bitch nigga say less? When the hammer come up, then it's a mess. I don't need it when the got finesse. A lame nigga, I will never stress. Keep my name out your fucking mouth. Oh, you don't even make me nut. Why the fuck am I in your mouth? Go quick and scream it with I mouth. Hit the home and then I out. Work my ass up on your pound. Sorry, career. Try and drop. Why these bitches fall with the death? Real play shit, that's what I'm about. Huh. One in the morning, think I'm in the zone. Drop that I need a nigga, leave me alone. I only spit the truth, think I'm a troll. All seven on the six when I roll. Never had a bad hand, never fold. Top three every time I fuck a pole. Real, real, real bad, plus I said a foul. Uh, you don't deserve what I got. You were lazy, you will never pop. You will never touch the stage of rock. Oh, you crying, bitch, you really mad? Cause I got the press that you wish you had. And I got the check that you wish you bag. See that shit in my fucking face. Uh, another yeah, IG comment. comment. Uh, that's what your shit is washed, comment, never hit the juice, bitch, I got it, shout out TV, yeah, oh, yeah, you mad that got it, fuck you hoes, now you're at the bucket, one circle swing, you just like a sucker, got the power, yeah, I got the rocket, think you gon' be me, bitch, stop it, so what you say, nigga, I'm gonna cry like a pan, rock, kill, get the master plan, now these niggas stunned like the pops of Zan, watch this ass, you gon' like some flan, ask your bitch, I'll bring a man, in the crowd, put me like in the sand, stop hitting me, let you got a band, stop hitting me, let you got a band, ho, ho, nigga, no a sham. These lame ass, bum ass, bitch ass niggas talking fucking crazy shit. Nigga, you mad when I got it? I got it. Step your balls up. Step your money up. Step like you can't. Hey, bitch ass nigga. And that's that. Uh. Yo, I be really angry sometimes. And you know what's so. My mind is like all over the place right now because I'm just like so excited. I was talking about real deep. LT produced Motto. <laughs> like LT produced the biggest career of my whole, you know. I'm just excited, guys. <laughs> I'm just excited because I totally forgot. I don't know why that slipped my mind because I think real deep is like one of my favorites. So I wanted to talk about that. But LT actually produced the biggest record of my entire career, which is Motto. So we're going to play Motto. And you already know we play Motto. Like, okay. So um, next up, yo, this record right here. This record right here. This record right here. No. Um, I want to give a lot of love and a big, big shout out to Oomp and to Red Shades. Um. You know, <laughs> people call us the, unofficially call us the Trinity, um, which I, I I just am always honored and just blown away that I get mentioned in the same sentence as Oompa and Red Shades, as I adore, absolutely adore the both of them. And just outside of being an artist myself, I'm just a big ass fan of the both of them. I have been since the second I've heard their music. Um, I actually had heard, was listening to Red Shades like a year before I even got to meet her. Um, mm. And then once we met, when we did the show um, together two years ago, I think it was in 2018, is when the three of us were like in the building for the first time together. And, you know, the energy was just incredible. Um, those are really like my sisters in music 
I love them like so deeply and so strongly. I love the both of them. And I'm really grateful for the things that they've taught me. Um, I really consider, you know, my mentor. Um, and I'm forever grateful for the doors that she's opened for me. Like even just putting me on a record like Cleo and them, um, which was my first time getting nominated in a major category at the Boston Music Awards. And that happened because of that record. The exposure that I got from Cleo and them um, to this day hasn't stopped. It's still the biggest record of my career um, as a feature. And um, I'm forever grateful for that. And Red Shades just really taught me to step my fucking bars up. <laughs> Let me play something real quick. Oh my God, what? What's up? This is Red Shades. <laughs> Being on Count It was one of the highlights of my career because I remember being approached with it like, yo, just do your thing, go off. And I was like, you sure be like, that's it, no concept? Nah, just do you. <laughs> Rip their heads off. And I was like, okay. Uh, so I let it sit with me for a couple of days because I really, it felt like an anthem, the sirens in it. It just, it's just a beat that captivates you as soon as it comes on so i was like yeah i gotta make a statement <laughs> so this was one of my first verses where i was able to play with word play lyrical mechanics and like multi-syllable type of rhyme schemes and get really creative with it so um when i knew that Oomp was going to be on the song along with B, I was like, oof, this energy is going to be crazy because just individually and then together collectively, it's just a mess. <laughs> so once I heard the final result, I was like, oof, I was like, this is crazy. And imagine performing it live. And so when we finally did get to perform it live at B's release party for Late Bloomer, as well as uh, the Hella Black show, it was like, oh man, this is crazy. So I, I still play that record. It's one of my favorites uh, just because I think the community was waiting to hear all three of us on a track for a long time. So I'm honored to be a part of it. Oh my God, Shim! Like, I'm about to, yo, Shim, keep coming through. Like, all these things that are happening, I had no idea what happened. Oh my God, Shim, I love you. I love you, Red. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> A nigga don't ever like ever be tripping you dead. You can count it, I'ma get it, nigga. 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 I'ma get it, nigga. You can count it, I'ma get it, nigga. You 
can count it, I'ma get it. Yeah. Easy pounding, cause I'm winning. Yeah. Got the strength to move a mountain. I've been popping, drop my hits since December. Two, three doors be closing, but I enter. You things flowing, go and get litter. Always lace the flow with facts, place the growth the cash talk. You know it's wax, Hester. R.O.B. The three wise guys give a high five. No, I lie when we slide by. It's a drop by. You apply, then it's bye bye. Choose a fine time, have a seat on the sidelines. Get your yeah. palm palms, nigga. Damn it, better tree on the city. What you talking about? If I get a glimpse, you acting silly, then I'm hopping out. Smiling in my face, acting fake. I'ma call him out. Renegade, M. Kill J. This is slaughterhouse. Cut you off, friend, and kill us in like we falling out. Send the one and it ain't looking pretty, so you wanna bounce. Fuck loud, only by the pound. Fuck the quarter ounce. Aim high, always stay low. What I'm all about. I don't mean to test when you can send a drop box, nigga. Made it clear, I want all the smoke pop box, nigga. Everything we do, we always do a top notch. Nigga, think I won't take for a drop. Not, not, nigga. Save on your feet, one, two, hot scotch, nigga. Rather keep the peace in the streets, not block, nigga. If I had to choose them, a mean pop pop, nigga. I should do a step through the chest, pop lock, nigga. Ah. kids a little bit you know that would be cute though because that is my trademark i don't know when i started wearing chokers but i know and people think of brandy blaze they think red lipstick and chokers which i'm not mad at okay and probably big titties yeah those three things <laughs> yo thank you guys so much for tuning in i love you guys so much this is so much fun like um, it's definitely cheering me up. Cause like I said, I really was sad that we were here at the one year anniversary and I couldn't really be there with you guys in person. Um, but you know, this is, this is making it a lot, a lot better. Like it's really making me happy. So, um, let's, you know what? Let me call an audibles while we're on the live stream. Shim's going to kill me. Yeah, let's play that now. Then we can play. Okay. We'll swap. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what we're going to play after that. And then we'll play the last one. Okay, so. um, We're going to play one last surprise. <laughs> I can't stand you. I'm not leaving. <laughs> so we're going to play one last um new record from b3 um and then we'll play two more records from late bloomer um and then yeah please um if you guys have any questions about anything that we talked about tonight please feel free to put it in the comments anything that you've ever wanted to know about wonder about but this next record is off b3 yay they're honking outside because they know they're like brandy blaze is working on a new album this is amazing um <laughs> but my next album um i was really blessed to be a lab grant recipient for 2020. Um, so thank you and special shout out to the Boston Foundation um, and all the incredible work that they do for the artist community. Um, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I was no one more shocked th than me because I was like, y'all wanna hear this ratchet pussy popping shit I'm about to put out? Thank you. So <laughs> thank you to the Boston Foundation um, for making this third album happen. Um, and it will be coming out in 2021. Um, you guys are, just really wait until y'all see. That's why I'm not telling y'all the title because y'all will see everything once we drop the first trailer for the album um, sometime in the spring. Um, but this is the last sneak preview for B3. And this song, like I said, this album has the most collaborations I've ever done. The song, I, it is something special. It is something special. <laughs> this song is called Die Mad. And it features Cake Swag, Quinn Doll, and Jabs. So this is Die Mad. It's not you guys. You guys don't have to die mad. Everyone else. Stupid ass, goofy ass, bum ass, broke ass niggas. The fuck? Tuh. These bitches could die mad. The fuck are you talking about? Uh. Uh. Die Mad. Tell some niggas that Die Mad. Die Mad. Die Mad. Tell some hoes that Die Mad. What are you talking about? 
Turn back. Uh. Turn back. Yeah. Look at these niggas, so just at the target. Fuck on your nigga, the dip with the turn back, Chris. Turn back. Tell these little niggas they can turn back. Look at you talking about. Turn back. Tell these little hoes they can turn back. Look at you talking about. Turn back. Turn back. Look at these niggas, so just at the target. Fuck on your nigga, the dip with the turn back. So he hit me on my iPad. I be in the zone if I want it. I'ma buy that. Coming for the throws, spin it, take it, get it right back. Oh, oh, he's fucked with the white pants. Wanna ride in my highway with an easy pass, but I cut the bitch off cause the dick was trash. Big old nuts, make a nut fast. Hey, that nigga nut fast, he like shit. Take while you bustin' it down in the split. I put him chill, he know the deal. Give me the dick and then pay all my bills. Oh, give me the money, what a pistol. Spice me up, nigga can kill me. Never went out on the pussy just like a windmill. Lucky the hoes up just like a pill. He poppin' a pill and I'm poppin' my pussy. Ain't missin' no meals and I give him that pussy. You're probably too big that you really need to swallow. I'll be on my shit and I'm pissed on your tile. song in the beginning of November all together at Amanda Shea's house. Uh, we had an absolute blast. I think that we drank an entire liter of vodka uh, <laughs> to get through that, to write that song. Um, and since the beginning of November, I will be randomly doing shit. Like maybe I'm in my car, maybe I'm in the grocery store, um, you know, maybe I'm cleaning, washing a dish. I don't know. I could be doing really mundane shit. And I promise you, I hear Queen Doll's voice in my head. Just, mm, that dick so good. Like, <laughs> and I fall out every fucking time. Like, yo, listen, we, we were singing gospel. I don't know what we went through writing that song, but <laughs> we had, we had like a gospel session in the middle, believe it or not. Like, we just had like such a beautiful, amazing time. And I'm not someone that likes to write in groups. I usually will write my part on my own and then, you know, see people at the studio. Um, but this was like the first time I had like a writing session that big. And I just had the time of my life just connecting with the three of them. They're all amazing artists. Um, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, 
Um, we played um, Ferb and Phineas by Cake Swag. We played Pink Smoke by Queen Doll, and we played Saturday by Jabs. So you guys, please go stream their projects, run up their numbers. But yeah, Die Mad was hilarious to write. Um, so much fun to write, um, and I love the three of them so much. So yeah, <laughs> Die Mad. <laughs> So, um, yeah. Oh, also, my two other favorite tracks that I had listed was um, New Mood by Medino Green and Jesus Peace by Joe Grizzly. Go listen to all five of those records. They're like literally my some of my favorite local songs out right now um, that I bump all the time in a car. Please go stream all these songs, run up the numbers. Um, Cause like I said, these are like literally like my favorite people. So, um, Oh my God, we've been on here for 90 minutes. So yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> so we're going to play the last song. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're, we're at the end. Um, <laughs> um, so this last song um, is really what jump-started the era of Late Bloomer. Um, I was really blessed to be picked for 617 Sessions, um, class of 2019. Um, the competition was stiff stiff um but i think that that helped bring this record to a new level um i remember i was just stressed because i didn't want to give them something in the chamber i wanted to give the the boston music award something new so leonard had played this beat for me at the new year's eve party that me and sham hosted together um new year's eve 2019 and he did a beat you know selection and I think he got 20 seconds into the song. And I said, cut that shit off right now. Don't play that shit no more. Because it was mad rappers in there. And I didn't want them getting no ideas. So I knew that record was going to be mine. And then um, he didn't end up sending it to me. I kind of forgot about it. And then um, when I posted, like, freaking out because I had got picked for 617 Sessions. And, like, the crazy part about 617 Sessions is from the day I got the um, – the confirmation that I was picked to my studio date was 10 days. I had 10 days. So I posted freaking out like, yo, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And LT came through and he sent me that beat from new year's. And I said, Oh my God, this is it. And I was just playing the beat. I was out. I was with in a car with Amanda Shea. We were outside of feel it, speak it, um, listening to the beat. And First thing that popped in my head was, I'm a motto, can't be my mate though. And um, it just kind of went from there and the bars just flowed out from there. And um, so shout out to LT for producing this. Thank you so much to the Boston Music Awards. And then also thank you so, so much to Jay Hunt from Smokehouse Media um, for shooting an incredible video. Like we just had all my people come through with, you know, the point of motto, um, for me was that it doesn't matter shape, body, orientation, gender expression, complexion, age, none of that matters. If you a bad bitch, then you just a bad bitch and that's on period. So this is model. I said, yeah, you can send me music. You can send me music to ejblaze 607 at gmail.com. Don't send me no dick pic because I'll make it my profile picture. <laughs> anyway, this is model. <laughs> Yes! Let's sit on your face with Tiara!
pretty, you know that I'm pretty. Rapping boss in my city. Rapping yeah. block no millers. They quiet, not really. Take a post to cost a beer with a mic chasing in the fucking penny. Spit like this, not many. To go, there's a roll of a penny. Hey, doctor, that's a hoe to me. Hey, the pussy, that's a hoe to me. On my titty, and he got a queen. I'm a different thing than you got the mean. It's up till I scream. All my paper, like a money team. Beating up to my live stream. journey this past year has been really the past two years because <laughs> we were going crazy about late bloomer um before it came out so you know i, I just want to take this time to give a lot of thank yous i'm gonna try to remember every single person i probably should have wrote this down but i did you know it is what it is so first and foremost i have to thank my team so dj y sham like I can't wear her like, I'm really about to cry. I'm gonna cry when we get off this. I'm not gonna cry now, but like, <laughs> like, yo, that's really my sister. I love her to death and just her doing all this shit to make this live stream like really special, like means a lot to me. So, you know, DJ Sham, um, Amanda Shea, who was like really instrumental in planning this entire rollout. When I tell y'all the rollout for Late Bloomer was so insane because not only was the album not done, we had set up certain things to happen. Like Bottle needs to come out by this date. First it was, I need to get picked for six or seven sessions. And then, okay. Then I needed to <laughs> place high enough to perform at the B of A's. And then I had to get the venue that I wanted. And then model had to come out at a certain time. And then we had to set up certain press for model. Like it was so tenuous. Um, but I want to tell y'all, Amanda Shea worked her ass off to make sure that we hit every single milestone that we set for late bloomer. And I think that that's why it had the impact that it did. So thank you so much, sis. Um, Sandal Films and Jay Hunt. Um, for doing the visuals for Late Bloomer. Um, yo, <laughs> oh my God, it's so many people. CC from Found Fashions, who beats my face for everything and also did my hair for all of um, the Late Bloomer. So basically she did my hair for um, the release show, the cover art, um, the BMAs. Um, she did my makeup for all of those things as well. The short film. Um, Shots X DJL for shooting the um, cover art for Late Bloomer. Um, 
God. And that was quite a journey um, because I'm not on the cover art for Spinster and I had just never wanted to be on any of my cover art. Um, this is, Late Bloomer was the first time I was ever on any of my cover art, even for singles, I was never on it um, because I felt like people would fear me, judge me unfairly based on the way that I look and not listen to my music. So this was the first time that I really felt the courage to um, be on my own album and be like, fuck it, y'all know what I look like. Why shouldn't I be on my own music? So shout out to um, her for doing a beautiful job. Um, Ariel Gray for doing the visual aspect of the um, cover art. So she did all the graphic design for the front and the back. Um, thank you so much, sis. Um, to the producers that are on the album, my brother, um, South End's Finest. Um, oh my God, it's so many people. Hello. Conrad, I love you so Jay much. Um, Lord have mercy. Everybody. Everybody, like I'm really like in my feelings and really, really emotional right now. Um, thank you so much to Upa and Red Shades. <laughs> right. <laughs> see, you got to see Sham. That's it. <laughs> um, Upa and Red Shades for being features. Um, Fresh from DE, which is my engineer. Um, Drew from Easy Street Productions. I literally um shot, recorded half of the album with Fresh. Then he ended up moving to LA and I recorded the other half with um Drew from Easy Street and Fresh was still mixing my records from LA. So um Rilla Force for producing Drown. Um Rilla Force also produced Die Mad. So I forgot to, Lord, I'm really in my feelings, but Rilla Force produced Drown. Rilla Force also produced Die Mad with me and um Cake Swag, Queen Doll, and Jabs. Um, he's also producing another record on the album, which I can't tell y'all about yet, but um Rilla Force is just everything. Um Shout out to New York Bangers. Um, I usually never do an album without a beat from them. Um, they've produced for Young and May, and Sham is the reason that I was actually got connected with them um, because I, I was leasing beats from them before. <laughs> I won't even hold you. And Sham really did that work to reach out to them so that they knew who I was, not just some random. So um, thank you so much, to New York Bangers, as well. Um, I just want to thank uh, also all of the publications that have covered Lake Bloomer, um, Vanya Land, Austin Pudding, Worcester Magazine, um, Boston Herald, Boston Globe, um, Dig Boston, um, Elle Italia, Madame Rap um, in France. Um, I know I'm missing so many other. Um... I said Vanya Land. Oh. I was like, Jim's trying to send me signal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't forget. I was like, I said Vanya. Yeah, I said Vanya so Um, Mixtape Chick, um, Islet Boston, um, Charlie Machine, Above the Basement, um, all the podcasts that have supported me out here, all of the blogs, all of the magazines, all the newspapers, um, what's the magazine? Um, I think I said no, but um <laughs> all of the promoters, all of the people. Thank you so much to the Rockwell. Um, I didn't realize that not a lot of black people had been to the Rockwell until I did my show out there. <laughs> and they were like, this is lit out here. <laughs> but thank you so much to the Rockwell. And shout out to Heather Mack, because she's the one that put me on the Rockwell. Because funny story, the first time me and Sham had ever been to the Rockwell, um, we were performing at a wrestling show, which is so random. I'm about to turn your phone off. But, but I know my phone is <laughs> going I, insane. So I guess people are excited. Um, so shout out, but shout out to I Blow, um, uh, which is an amazing wrestling league out here. If y'all are into WWF, please sh um go check out Blow. Thank you to Heather Mack. That was the first time we went to the Rockwell, and they treated us so great that um that was really the first place I thought of to have this show. So thank you to them. Um, thank you to George Rest Art Project for um just always. Sam, Emma, I love you guys. You've always been in my corner and show me nothing but love. We shot model here at Dorchester Art Project. And, you know, it, it's only right that we're back here tonight for the one year anniversary. Um, and also just thanks to every single one of y'all that have played the record, streamed the record, shared it, put your friends on to it. Um, it means so, so much to me. Um, like sometimes I just dream about the late Bloomer release party, like just having that many people there um, is something that I never thought that I would do. Um, 
going from, you know, rest in peace to Maggie's Lounge. But that's really where I started to get traction at. And going from doing shows at Maggie's um, with like seven people <laughs> to going to the Rockwell and being six tickets from selling out on a night it snowed because y'all forget, but it snowed the night of late bloomer release party. So um, I'm just forever grateful for every single one of you um, that made this what this is. And, um, you know, um, I think that you guys will love B3. I'll see you guys in the spring. Um, and I love all of y'all. Good night, guys. <laughs>